An exclusive interview with the one and only Phil Lynott in Belfast recently on the occasion of Thin Lizzy's final tour. Well, Phil, after the end of Thin Lizzy or the breakup of Thin Lizzy, what comes next? Uh, I'm going to carry on doing for the planet. Yeah. Uh, the... Any any change in your direction? Say the way you write the songs, the the content, the lyrical content. Uh, well, first of all. What I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm the only one in the band that hasn't got a plan. <laughs> what I'm gonna do when the band breaks up. The band has got um, about a year to wind it up. After this, so if we've done an English tour, yes. and now we're doing the Irish tour, and then we're gonna do Scandinavia, Japan, Australia, and America. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a live album. And then there'll be a compilation album. And then there'll be the return to it. No, you know, but, you know, there'll be just... There's a lot to do to wind it all up, so... At the moment, it's going to take a year to just wind the whole thing up, right? Now, the thing I promised myself after that year is to spend some time with my children. I just feel I've given Lizzie 100% for, like, 10 or 13 years or whatever you say. And now I just want to spend some time with my kids. So I thought if I did, <coughs> if I at least took six months anyway, just to spend with the children, who knows, I might end up like Beyond Borg, you know, give her up altogether. Yeah. But <coughs> I'd maybe take up tennis. All through your albums, you've always come across as a highly literate person. You take care of your lyrics. They tell stories. They're narrative. And... You've had books of poetry published. You know, mm -hmm. Could you see this as being, say, even more important to you than, say, the musical side of things? I mean, you know, secretly I've always wanted to be James Joyce, you know? <laughs> <coughs> but I mean, being James Joyce is another thing. Yeah. I mean, it's just illusions of grandeur sometimes, you know? <coughs> I'd like, you know, I'd look great on the passport, you know? Yeah. Right, uh, you know, but uh, I doubt it for some reason. There are a lot of very good new bands over in Ireland. What sort of bands would you listen to at present? Any names? I do think there's a lot of good new bands and it's it's getting harder and harder to categorise. I think like, as you said, Art of Defay are a good example of a new band that are original. And they come from such different areas. Um, Eugene, I like Eugene, yeah. I've seen them. Yeah. I like them. Um, who else have I seen? I'm trying to... Mama's Boys now who are on the tour for a heavy metal band, you know what I mean? They're excellent. And, and <coughs> same as Sweet Savage when we had them, I mean, which Vivian's gone on to prove the point yeah. by walking now, you know, he flits back <laughs> and forth from LA, you know, to... And uh, so, I mean, there's still uh, an abundance of talent in this wonderful small country of ours but you know um whether there's the record companies or the brains there to uh nurture it and make sure that it keeps coming out i don't know you know one last question harking back to the fact lizzie had been in existence for 13 years and all those albums tracks and songs that you've recorded would there be any one song or one album that supposing 20 years time you could look back and say yes I created that. <coughs> the real stick is in it. Uh, Duke Ellington had a great answer to that question. He used to say, uh, my favourite song is the next one. And hopefully that'll be my answer in 20 years' time, you know. Right. Thanks a lot, Phil.